Hi, and welcome back to another episode of Modern Place to Five. This is still the Unu game, uh, in case you got confused by the title somehow. This is part of a series where I play my own mods, and this is Unu, which is released as part of the Monsoon season. And yeah, if you've checked out part one, you know that. Anyways, this is where I'm going to use the unique ability. So, part of the unique ability, which we can look up here. Ah, can't type. Burma is that is that um, every fate purchase provides a one-time boost to the city's lower yield of production or culture. Uh, may spend fate to make merit to gain double this bonus. So this is basically representing what I was saying before, where the idea of merit in modern Burmese Buddhism is pretty important in that people think that when you do something religious or something good, not necessarily a good deed, it's more just a religious deed, kind of like donating to the pagoda or something along those lines, you get good luck or you get a heightened luck, which gives you uh, prosperity. So this should not be culture, this should be gold. I am very sorry about that. Uh, this will be fixed in, by the time I publish this, so it will say gold to you. Sorry about any confusion there. This is not a culture. This is a gold. So we'll actually see that right now because I'm about to build Oracle. And I had enough faith and I just went over a few turns so that we could get further along. It's been 40 turns. We settled the third city because Morocco and is kind of infringing on our territory and we can get some silver here. It's not the best city, but I'm trying to get that sugar across the river. Uh, and we found Lake Victoria. So, yeah, I'll be settling over here, I guess. Whoa. Oh, I did not plan this very well at all. Um, yeah, we'll deal with that in a bit. So, first, when you go into a city, you might have noticed this before, that there's a button down here. It's no longer... It, it's possible now. You can make merit. So it says, conduct meritorious activities for 200 faith. We have 200 faith. We already spent some fate, but this is not, we're not going to do that yet because we don't need that much of a boost. We're going to get this in it, but we can get a missionary because I like when I play a religion game, I like to start with a missionary after religion and then go to the prophet because I usually get it early enough, especially since I'm not a deity player. So missionary helps me keep the religion, start the religion spread early. Um, gonna get a lighthouse so and um i'm also the only religion right now i believe it's oh no others have founded religions um okay let's see my religion so haha -ha, i took pilgrimage haha -ha. so i think even with the unique ability it still makes more sense to take teeth but i wanted to have some fun and try to challenge myself to get a lot of faith per turn to kind of abuse the uea a bit so that's why I went for pilgrimage. Pagodas, however, is perfect for this because you get to buy another building. Actually, yeah, there we go. Whoa, f yeah, so you see, we got a production because at this point, the production is lower than the gold. So we get a big boost of production. In fact, what is the boost is big enough that we got a discount on some of the other buildings. You can't really see it because you didn't see it before, but there's definitely a bit of a discount. And now we can spread our religion to Vatican City. And everyone has a religion. Awesome. We're going to spread it to Vatican City. I uh, kind of got messed up by all of the barbarians. Cause we, I, we had way too many barbarians. Let's get piety going. Yeah. Hello. There we go. Sorry, my computer's also shit. And now we're gonna research the LG, which gives us a unique building. But before that, let's discuss a bit about the unique ability. So Dama Wisaya just means the victory of the Dama, which is kind of the idea of 
Unu in that the that Buddhism would eventually win in that if they kept doing meritorious activities, you would get there. Okay, I think I'm actually playing strategic mode for a while, but that's good for now. Yay, they're converted. converted. So, Lake Victoria, how am I going to sell this? I don't know. I don't think it's worth building, but especially since my city costs will go up, but I do want to get a fort city out. Um, okay. Let's, we need some Lexus real quick. So, the unique ability I kind of discussed it before, that's the main part of the playstyle. You buy a lot of buildings and that gives you the boost that you need to get to um, the rest of it. It is in fact gold because if it were culture, your culture would always be lower. <laughs> and it wouldn't be that fun of a game if you just kept getting a bunch of free social policies so it was both unbalanced and unfun and not really that accurate although it would have been nice to do something with culture it would have had to be something like um or whichever is lowest your production your gold or two times your culture which is a little bit too complex and wordy for a unique ability yeah we also have quite a bit of gold so i think we need to buy uh buy our way to to the unique. Wait, let's. You're gonna. He's gonna finish in a few turns. Um. Aloha pumehana hoomika i i o e ke hoa. Owa o kumehameha mo i o ke yalalet. Yeah. Um. We're getting 15 fate per turn on turn 118, so that's pretty good. And boom, we should be above happiness now. After next turn, hey, my, hey, no open borders for you yet. Why? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a great player again. I can't really justify my actions. I make mods, not games. No, not play games. Sorry. <laughs> I don't make games either. But yeah. Um. So there's. Okay, let's get rid of this horse. Should I settle on the Arctic and be stupid? No. <laughs> okay. All right. Um. Let's get the trigger going. Um, okay, so now that we have the unique ability and enter the medieval era. Ta -da. Three things are necessary for the salvation. The unique building is the thing door. So this is part of the so I try to represent all five Buddhist arenas. But it became a little difficult because I was trying to cram a lot of things in, so I cut a lot of it out. But a lot of it, but everything is still basically based on it, uh, except the unique unit. Because usually the unique unit, if it's really, if I really wanted to make it based on religion, then it wouldn't have been that great of a unique because it would just be like, oh, you got some extra boost for being in a religious place, or you got some faith for it standing on this tile, which is it, which is kind of interesting, but it's also a little overdone. And honestly, getting a stronger or a in this case, a cheaper unique. It's pretty good. So, this gives us a. Which one gives us a free mosque? Mosque? No, we don't really want a mosque. Um, okay, we want to get this going, but we also do want to get Borobudur, except they're going to have their religions up, and it's going to be annoying. So, I think it's going to make more sense. 
for us to have um, just go for the normal stuff and not go for it wonder yet oh yes we should get some trade routes going <laughs> Alright, we have 254. We're just gonna wait for the Great Prophet this time. Um, the Great Prophet does not provide the boost because it's not a purchase. But. Um, oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you? <laughs> I just got five gold per turn for free. <laughs> awesome. Um, let's see. This guy's gonna keep going back up. I've just been slowly killing the barbs, and everyone else seems to be a non-threat, which is good for me. So I'm kind of weak at this moment. At this moment, everyone is friendly and nice. Um, I guess I'm gonna have to go for sacred sites because I can't really do the easy thing of having the same religion because everyone has a religion except for Polynesia who I might be able to target yeah they they have some scuffling going on here okay so Thane Daw what is a Thane so a Thane so uh Thane Daw Daw just means that it's a royal one. It's not really a royal one, but in the usage today, after colonialism, Daw or royal now really usually means that. Uh, now usually just means that it's grand or it's the biggest one. We do do we need happiness? No, not really. Let's get. Oh, they took all of the other ones. That's okay. We don't want holy warriors because we don't have that much faith. Um, because our pantheon isn't that great. I think religious community because we're kind of tall. And here is 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 what I was t gonna do, which is uh, where is it? Wait, did it get taken? Oh. Oh damn it! But they you AI took it. They AI, AI took the cheaper religious order. That's the one I'm thinking of. I guess we will just do missionary zeal. Can can we do? Yeah, we can do missionary zeal. Or let's not do missionary zeal. You're right. We're just gonna do religious, not text. We're gonna do itinerant preachers because we are our, our converting target is kind of far away. And we need to buy some workers. Yeah, so with stoneworks and everything, these quarries are really, really good. So, basically, what the Thane Daw does is just the garden. It provides plus one faith. That's not too exciting. The more exciting part is that it provides plus 5% faith in the entire empire if you fill it with some uh, great artist work or a great artifact work so that part of the thing though so uh, I kind of got sidetracked but what the thing is what a thing is it's just is an or in ordin or in ordage in ordin okay I don't know how to say the word it's where people become monks or they join the order in ordination uh, I don't know. <laughs> it can't English apparently, but um, the in these halls are basically where you have ceremonies to bring people into the monkhood, and these large ones are there's usually one per monastery compound, or they're sometimes in the middle of the city because they're kind of also just a refuge where you can pray without having a stupa or of some sort. So they're just a, basically a building that has some image of the Buddha and a large open space for. Uh, in order 
or, or ordinations or whatever. <laughs> what? I could force settle him, but it's not. Yay, Brussels likes me again. And we have a great merchant, Lex. Let's send him to Brussels. Moreover, does provide plus five faith, which is pretty good. I think, I think that's a good idea to go for. Um, and we can boost it with, with our unique ability, so we get it before others. Um, sure. Just do this, bro. Okay, never mind. We also can buy another settler, which we could to get here but I don't know how worth it that is mm. actually we have enough excess Shit. let's let's send this up here. Right, yeah. So, um, let's... I don't want horses. I don't need horses. I have horses too. No, I don't. Oh, I do. <laughs> oh, come on. Did you make a religion? No, you can't. <laughs> you can't make a religion. This is, this is stupid AI being stupid. Okay, let's go. That is such a cancerous spot, though. Um, yeah, let's go here. So, okay, so the Thane Daw is an ordination hall. So it basically fulfills the Sangha portion of the five arenas that I was talking about in last episode in terms of Buddhist legitimacy. <laughs> And there was definitely a lot of mass things that he did, but he also did an uh, interesting thing in that he did uh, he held a World Buddhist Council, which is so that oh yeah, this is a Burmese wonder. I didn't make this. Sukrutak made this, and we're gonna build it if we can. Uh, but actually, we shouldn't because we don't have much gold around us. All right, so we have enough faith to do this. Let's, yes. So the amount that you get as a boost is determined by how much the yield is. So if you do it in a lower place, you don't get as much. In this case, gold is definitely higher. So we're gonna get over uh, like a, quite a bit of faith, a uh, production. So we're gonna get a few turns worth. Ooh, we got six turns worth. That's pretty good. And that is the power of the unique ability in, in that it you use up a lot of faith and if you do it in the early game You get more benefit out of it, but in the late game It still provides a lot of benefit if you can spam that faith Then that's really how the main main power house because the rest of it is nice bonuses But not the strongest bonuses. This is the real part where it really uh, becomes powerful and useful it, Yeah, so 
want to finish this camp off so badly. Oh, I keep messing this up. Okay. Wow, what? I have so much. Oh no, no, no! Now I have a thousand gold. What am I gonna do with a thousand gold? Build more cities? No. Okay, let's let's buy something. It's not that useful. Oh yes, that's pretty useful. Um. instead. This is very sad. Yay, finally. We need to build a few more units so someone doesn't attack us. Haha, <laughs> Burma. Burma attacking Burma. <laughs> um, I didn't intend to or there did that be that many Burma cities. Uh, I guess that's what happens when you enable all your mods and they're all Burma. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's get some swordsmen. Oh, you took that too. Yeah, I'm behind in tech. Um, yeah. Not much I can do about it, except get to university quicker, I guess. But I haven't been doing that, so... Yeah, I'm kind of messed up in this game. Pretty behind. <laughs> Hopefully the unique ability can pull us ahead and not... If I don't waste it on wonders like I just did. <laughs> Uh, okay, we need we need some blocks. Nope. Uh, nope. Tahiyaji. Nope. Come on, come on, bro. There's no, there's no. Yeah, you still. Good. <laughs> Okay, should have gone for aestheticism or something. <laughs> or actually, we have silver right there, so we can do this. Good thing that we have quite a lot of gold from our capital just being there. Yeah. Okay. I guess now it's kind of time to talk about two things. One is the city list. So the city is in the British text. And if you play some of my other mods, you might notice that this is not the case in the state of Burma map, which is even older. So. What gives, given that uh, the names were changed la er, uh, much later? The reason is because one, uh, these places, they were still called by their Burmese names as they are now. This is this was called Yangon, Mandalay, Batay, and uh, Malamyang. But in the in this era, they still called them by their 
previous name. So it didn't make too much sense to change it all. Someone's already in the Renaissance. All right, you're you're gonna have to give me some some of your technologies. Uh, yeah, so the other one that I did want to talk about is the is the leader scene, which is not that easy to show because I'm playing as Unu, but you can kind of see it. There, there's a building in the background, and the if you do look at the mod a bit more, you'll see that the leader scene is is actually a really cool building in my opinion. We really do want this, but at the same time, do we want to get to Reformation earlier? No, actually, we want to do this so that we can do this. Mm. Now we got our free workshop. We needed to cut that down, but since I've already started, I might as well not, I guess. <laughs> so, yeah, um, the leader scene, the building in the background is an interesting building because I think it's the only example, but it might not be. So, it's, the, it's a brutalist building, so if you know architecture, Brutalism is a type of building, or it's a philosophy of building, where basically in, in the modern movement, a lot of people thought about things like, hey, if if you have, um, if in the past we got the style, we kind of like the style now because people use stone and bricks and things like that. That's because that's, those are the materials that they use. So brutalism is kind of the idea that that also applies in uh, the modern day. The brutalism applies in that the only concrete and glass and steel should not be painted over. And that and brut brutalism doesn't mean it's brutal. It just means it's brut a brut or something 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 French. <laughs> when in doubt it's French uh, something French which basically suggests that uh, your the that okay so we can buy yet another one so let's do it in place where we need it like let's see it here if we buy it here what will happen 10 yeah Ooh. We got a big uh, three turns of boost, I guess. Yeah. So, oh yeah. So you basically get three turns of boost uh, on average. It is not a random number, but it is just a little. Uh, I'm not. You can look at the code if you want, but. But you get a bit more than three turns of boost whenever you get the boost for production, and if you use the make merit, you get six turns of boost. So. You can judge based on that how much you get, but I think it's a little more fun if people don't know. In which case, you're putting their faith in the unique ability to give them what they need. I... Alright. We need to... Let's give them a gift. We should give back and oh no, it's been converted. We need to convert these two. Yeah, we really need some signs, so I'm going for that. And let's get another one to get some food going to our capital city. Yeah. Um.
So, what else? Oh, we should get some triremes. Right, we need to build up our military a little bit. Actually, yeah, once we get some fate, we'll be able to boost the, build, the building here. So let's get a trireme. Oh, wait. Yeah, it's been lucky. I've been getting a lot of gold in these cities, so we've been able to get some production boost from the unique ability, and we've been able to get a good amount of uh, buying things with the gold. <laughs> Yay, golden age, even better. <laughs> okay, let's see, which city really needs it? I think there's a lot of growth potential over here, honestly. So I'm gonna give uh, some food to Mommy. Yay, we finally got the education. I sh definitely should have prioritized that a little better. Um, it's mostly my fault that I'm so behind. But I think we can catch up if we <laughs> strategically use the, uh, our religion. But I guess I'm not, again, I'm not the best player, so I could possibly lose. Oh, nice. We can send it to Mutma and get some more science but then we're also going to give them science because their unique ability is you they get science when someone trades with them so let's send it to jerusalem yeah we need to get some missionaries out okay we can get some missionaries out from here oh. nice. <laughs> Let's do war religion. <laughs> um, honestly, we should get scholars in residence because we're really behind. Um, 15 turns to get some nice texts. Yeah. Oh, it crashed. Okay, that's not good. Uh, let me see what happened. 